Hey guys, Cooper here, Diesel Power Products. And today's a fun day. We're doing an overview of our F450 Atlas. This truck was picked because of a few things. One, the obvious, it's an F450. It's gonna handle more payload than anything we've ever had, which means it's gonna handle anything we throw at. Between the six, seven power stroke and all the power it puts down in that 10 speed automatic, it'll handle it all, it'll tow it with ease, and it won't give us any hiccups while we're out on the road. This truck also has a much better turning radius than the F350, F250 platform, which was Really nice for us knowing that we were probably gonna sacrifice some of that with these tires. And given the design of the package that DBL Designs came up with to go to this super single, it was marginal at best. Minimal trimming, minimal uh, rubbing, and only in certain circumstances. But this package that he put together was phenomenal. It let us run these 43 inch tires on custom machined 20 inch beadlocks, front and back. That way we had the same uh, spare tire that would work front or rear because of their machine spacers on the back to get rid of the duals. Um, then they also came out with this really nice fiberglass fender extension to give us the coverage we needed so that we could stay legal and we threw some teeny tiny little mud flaps on it and built some custom ones out back. Now to bring all the gearing and everything back into spec for us, we upgraded to a set of 617 gears which gives us a hair bit more mechanical advantage over the stock gear ratio and stock tire size, which makes that transmission a lot happier and of course that cooling package a whole heck of a lot happier. While we are at it for the, the gearing and the traction, we went ahead and added an ARB air locker up front because this truck is gonna be a Swiss Army knife. It needs to be capable. It needs to be able to go places that uh, will help us recover any of the other rigs and as well as keep itself from getting stuck. And the more options that we have for traction aids, the better. Out back, it still has the factory limited slip. And uh, those 617s paired with these 40 inch tires, let's this thing cruise on down the highway at the perfect RPM for fuel mileage and pulling power. Because we wanted to make this thing comfortable so that we'd show up at whatever event we were at and not be wiped out from white knuckle driving, uh, we did some uh, suspension upgrades, which also help us clear these meets. Up front, we did a set of, uh, we did a Carly three and a half inch kit with a set of their fabricated radius arms and two and a half inch kings um, in their pin top setup. Out back to handle whatever load we throw at it, as well as get rid of any axle wrap from leaf springs and everything else, we added a Kelderman four link uh, airbag suspension that utilizes some really big uh, heavy duty truck airbags. That is double duty for us. One, we know that we can load up whatever we want on that and it's automatically gonna fit perfect so that the radius arm front end doesn't end up having any caster changes because of that change in angle and lets us still steer really good and control everything. And uh, two, it aids in hooking up to trailers because we can drop that rear back in pick it up, we don't have to spend too much time dropping the, the landing gear on the trailers down. It makes it super simple for one person to hook up to a, and disconnect from a trailer. Um, to kind of handle some of that sway control, we also upgraded the uh, sway bar on this to the Carly torsion sway bar. And then the steering, we always like to have big beefy steering. So the guys at uh, Kryptonite went ahead and designed us a, a full steering setup custom billet drag link, custom billet uh, tie rod, and everything has been completely maxed out for beefiness. Up front, as you can see, we have quite a bit of lighting. Uh, we like to uh, see when we're on the back roads at night exploring, so at least we get a heads up from the deer before they run into us. And then, uh, of course, we maintained the factory front bumper, which with the DBL kit moves forward just a little bit and incorporates a hidden winch mount. Um, because of that, we could fit a 16.5 TI worn winch, which will give us ample pulling needs to recover this truck and anything else we come across along the way. Now, because we've built quite a few tow rigs, we knew our needs were gonna be a little bit different, and we knew we weren't gonna find anything off the shelf that was gonna fit them. 
we decided to jump into building our own flatbed from scratch. We made it a little bit longer um, than any of the aftermarket ones would be, as well as maximizing the width. We went to exactly the legal width, which uh, ended up giving us the coverage that we wanted for the tires, as well as ample tie-down locations. Now, future plans of this truck are gonna be a little interesting. We have a custom camper being built by Bison Overland that's gonna be able to fit this deck width and use these tie down points to anchor it to it. Above and beyond that, we are also going to uh, build our own setup that plops on here and uh, utilizes these tie down points to hold it secure that will allow toolboxes along either side as well as a covered storage area in the middle. Really making this truck versatile and make, letting us be able to just kinda like Legos throw whatever kit we need on it for whatever the uh, job description will be. Um, from there, as you can see, we have a full-size spare tied into the bed. It doesn't go above the top of the cab. We recessed it down a little bit just to maximize overhead clearance and make it easier for us to fit a camper that goes out over the cab. Now, in order to maximize all the space and all the gear that we have thrown on this, um, we built in the airbag suspension uh, compressor set up in under the bed, as well as our auxiliary ARB twin air compressor to run the air locker, as well as air trucks, both front and rear. Um, out back, we incorporated a set of Napide uh, tail lights. Um, Ford really did a good job with these trucks. There's ample aftermarket upfitter support. So we literally got a plug and play harness that plugs into those. You go into the computer with a force scan tool and you can turn on the tail lights so it incorporates those. Um, to give us ample lighting, we incorporated a set of S1s in a uh, work scene light pattern to uh, really brighten things up. One, it helps us at night hooking up to trailers, and two, if we're working out in the field at night, we have plenty of lighting available for us. Well, thanks for following along as I walked around our, our Project Truck Atlas here. If you have any questions on this build, or you want to start a build of your own, contact us at dieselpowerproducts.com.